Hello tabulators and snoopy ladies. The old pal Cutworm here. It's a little bit past 80 o'clock. And uh, y'all know what, that my address is a Blueberry, Blueberry Road. Let me tell you, this is pretty much, this house was lived in by a clown. And look how low that doorknob is. She was a little tiny person and uh, she built this or had this house built 100 years ago now that was, that was low too i mean they're just right there right there on the ground the countertops and everything in this house is small bless her heart well anyway guess what we've been doing today i'm supposed to have gone to the doctor but they called it off and set me up for the 14th so hallelujah, I can suffer a little bit longer until they fix me. Uh, speaking of suffering, I have been try fitting a bunch of stuff on this one. And uh, I got it pretty much put together here and there. Uh, I had to grind down the generator st 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 stand. And made it fit the alternator. Still got to do some more polishing to it and paint it. And I got all this stuff going here. And I got a back pan that goes back in there. And I don't have the front pan yet. And it looks like there's something that needs to go in the sides here too. And uh, you know, I'll find me a front pan and some other stuff. But I don't know. I don't think that rubber I got will fit. Will span the gap right there. We'll see. I don't know all I know about this stuff yet. Here's the rubbers. This is the one for the back. And I got a nice new one for the front. So there's the two little snaky things. Trying to do what's right in here hooked up the battery and it went all cranky from the key so I got to and this thing's got a lot of tons of wires burnt and cut and rerouted and spliced and uh, of course I like wiring and I figured out a bunch of this other stuff here this is my Alternator wiring. I got to change the ends on it and get it going. And this stuff here is probably the fuel injection, I'm hoping. But the rest of it I've got figured out, kind of. So I'll go through my carburetor and get it tuned up and put it on here and get find some gas to go in it. And uh, hopefully someday I'll have this thing going. Well started, anyway. So, then all the stuff's got to come back off and go back on there. Real. And for the next to the last time. But that's what I've been doing on and off today. You do a little bit, then you go rest your feet. If you got my feet. And I got these Skecher Airwalk whatever's. Got them from eBay. They're used. There you go. There you go. They're used. And, uh, but they're not a hundred dollars. They're like twenty dollars. So, I'm bouncing around in there really well. And the rest of this is all the same. Oh, one good thing I did. I got that in there. How's that? Woohoo! White shifting knob. I like white knobs. Ouch! Dang! No, forget it. It's all right. I got over it. And uh, that's just what I've been doing today, boys and girls. Living here on Blueberry Road in the Blueberry House. And there ain't a blueberry between here and Nashville, Tennessee, probably. 
and I reckon I'll pull this engine out of here and tear it all to pieces like I did that other one and see if it's got any better parts in it to put that other one together and if the other one will build pieces of it it's going back in this one so I can have this one running around in and uh, that'll be good I might tie them together and just see who pulls it off but anyway I don't know I might I might leave this moss on here latching moss whatever you call it I think I like it but it probably won't last so I've been having fun with my little Volkswagens today and not having fun with the the doctors and nurses and stuff wearing the, your uh, when you get old your dignity it just goes out the window because everybody in the world will see whatever and uh, there you go I've been pretty modest and dignified not dignified stupefied all my life and uh, here in my old age uh, everybody wants to get you in one of them guns without the back end on it so ah here it is uh, had to unplug the windshield wipers when I put the battery on it because I didn't know where in the world the switch was and it's easy to know let me just get in here for a second. It's got all these knobs that are gone. So I didn't know which one to twist or which one to push or or what. And anyway, it's supposed to be something here. So and that and uh uh that well yeah, uh-huh. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's all I'm going to say to your chagrin. Until we meet again. Now this is my other camera. And uh, it's got like a hundred buttons on it. And it doesn't say what to do. So, oh, I bet there's a button on the back. Okay, I see it. All right, y'all. I uh, love you, and y'all take care of each other. And, uh, boy, you see, I just had a thought, and it just went, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I thank y'all for helping me with my Volkswagen stuff. I sure appreciate it, because I got nobody out here. I don't think there's anybody in the darn state that has any inclination for Volkswagens. And, uh, oh, one of my best buddies from the old days, hey, from the old days, where me and, me and James used to go around and we'd do stuff and play with cars and we'd all restore these old 56 Fords and these Galaxies and Mustangs and stuff. And once in a while we'd get a Chevrolet Super Sport and we'd fix it up and send it off. But I found out that he, up on the mountain, he's got a 1960 Volkswagen bus thingy. It ain't got no windows in it. I mean, down the sides, it's just a van-looking thing. It has just two doors on one side to get in the back of it. And the seats in the front have got a, has got a way to get in the back. So it's just got bucket seats in the front so you can get in the back. I don't know what kind it is, but it's a Volkswagen, and it's got them two. There's a wasper. It's got them two split windows that everybody likes, and I'm going to like it. But he's got it promised to his boy. So God bless him. But if his boy don't want it, which is pretty small, slim, because he's in California, and this is what he does. He does these buses and does them wonderful. If somehow he don't want it, I get to try and, and trade him out of it. 
I got some pictures of it, but I I can't put them on here somehow. But uh, anyway, that's it. I love you. I'm going to get back to my normal voice. What's normal about me, I don't know. Now, bye.